Hey everyone, and welcome to video number five. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to edit text, customize buttons, and link buttons. We're gonna start with the header text up top here. If we wanna make an edit, all we have to do is click inside of it, click on edit title, and this gives us a little menu bar up here to where we can change the font, change the color, and a few options here as far as making it larger, and spacing options over here to the right-hand side. Now this is the header text option. It gets a little bit different if we scroll down and we come down here to uh, what's considered the body text. Um, so again, if we want to make an edit, all we have to do is click inside of it, click on edit body, and from here it gives us that same menu. However, if we double click inside, it gives us a different menu, uh, more robust, giving us the ability to uh, center it, add links, change the font, change the color, uh, but much more options in the uh, body edit section. Um, if we're looking to make this a little bit wider, like let's say if you want to fill out the text a little bit further over here, what you'd want to do uh, is click on the settings option over here, go to pro, and the max width is set to 1000. Right now we're at 500. So let's say we want to make this a little bit bigger. Let's just make this, let's say, 800. There we are. So you see how it widens that out a little bit more. So if any of you are trying to uh, spread out the text a little bit further, you just have to go to the stripe settings, go to pro, and update the content width. So that's how you do that. Um, in regards to the other text and such, it's all the same in regards to the edit body and header. So what we're going to uh, go into next is editing the button and linking buttons. So let's say we wanted to link this button to another page. All we have to do is click on it, click on edit, and it gives us all the options here of where we can send this button. So right now we're going to do a page. This is another page within your own website. So the learn more button can take us to about or to services. If we want to have it go to a separate page, we would want to click on external URL and we just want to type it in here and hit save. If you want to open it up in a new window, just make sure that's clicked. If not, just make sure no follow is clicked. Pretty simple. Another option here, oops, click inside, click edit, scroll to. So this would be scrolling to a new section on the particular page that you're on. So right now we're on the home page. So if we click on scroll to, it's going to open up all the sections for the home page. Pretty simple. All right, so from here, so that's how to link the buttons, uh, how to edit and customize the buttons. Uh, same thing, all we have to do is click directly on the button itself, scroll down to, oh, where is it, button style, click there, and off to the right hand side, as you see here, we've got the color of whether you're uh, hovering over it or whether it's just uh, stagnant there as idle as, as it says here. Uh, you can change the colors, the button effects, um, grow, shadow, color fade, jump, all the different effects here uh, in regards to customizing uh, your button. So that's about it when it comes to editing text and the buttons. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please leave a comment uh, at the bottom and I'll be sure to respond. Uh, but up next, we got video number six.